All right, so I'm gonna teach you the kettlebell swing. Now, this is gonna be a little bit shorter tutorial. There's longer ones also on the YouTube channel you can check out, but we wanna make sure that one is safe. This is one of the uh, great exercises, metabolic exercise, great for the hips, whether it's power, building up the muscle mass as well too. So number one to the thing that I wanna go over is, first of all, this is a hinge, okay? So imagine your deadlift position, like that's your start position. Okay, so it's not a squat, so we're not squatting the swing. And it's also not an RDL. Now there's a time and a place for this, but it's right in between, right? So it's right in between. My shins are, are as vertical as they can be. If they fall a little bit forward, that's okay. I'm pushing my butt back as much as I can. My, my hip is above my knee, and my shoulder is above my hip, okay? So your hip is above your knee, and your shoulder is above the hip. Now a start position, so if I was doing a deadlift, you can kind of see Right, you can see the logo on my chest. If I had a logo on my chest here, if I had a logo on my chest, you could be able to see it. I'm ripping my shoulder blades apart here, and I'm pushing the ground away, okay? Now this is a stab, I would say not a ballistic exercise, right? So, but from here, the way we're gonna start the swing is we're actually gonna bring that bell out, okay? The reason why is like this puts us in a good position because I'm gonna reach for that bell and tilt it, okay? Now, I have some counterbalance, okay? And I'm gonna pull that bell into my last, so I call just pulling my last in, right? So imagine if they're out, I'm gonna pull it in. I'm gonna pull them in, I'm feeling my hamstrings, I'm feeling my glutes, right? I'm feeling my quads here too, so I'm feeling everything, okay? Feeling my whole foot. Now, I'm going to, with this nice tall spine, it's the other thing too, I'm not looking up, I'm looking about three feet in front of me. I'm gonna throw the bell into my hips high up and then, and then swing. So throw. I just do a couple. Now, I wanted to do a couple just so you can see the motion, right? Because I'm gonna push the ground. When I'm back in this position, the bell is literally right behind me, right? So this is a drill that you can do, is just throw it back, put it back into place. Throw it back, put it back into place, just to practice this, okay? And you notice that the bell goes behind me. So it's loading my hips up. It's loading, it's a stretch cycle on my glutes. The more the glutes stretch, the more they will also activate when I come through. Okay, so I'm gonna, when I'm coming up, I'm pushing the ground away. So I'm snapping my hips here, push, and then the bell is flying. Notice that like, even though my arms are keeping the bell in, I'm not muscling it. Everything's coming from the hips. Okay, I also like to hiss out, because when you hiss out, when you swing, it keeps my rib cage down and it allows me for, to not overextend here, okay? So I'm gonna go again here. Notice, throwing it back. I get tall. I think head to the ceiling, nice and tall. Put it back in the same place. So notice when I snap through, I push the ground away and I get nice and tall. I think like I'm gonna squeeze a wad up in between my butt cheeks, right? and I exhale, and the bell should be about shoulder height, okay? But the thing is, it's flying, and I'm, I'm literally snapping with my hips, just keeping it in place. The other important thing is, when you look, where should the bell land? Think of kneecap, kneecap, crotch, okay? That's a triangle, okay? You want to make sure the bell goes in that triangle, right? For guys, I like to say, hey, hit your zipper, right? move out the way of that zipper. Because if it goes too low, what'll happen is you're gonna round your back, okay? And if, or if you squat, you're gonna stress your back out. And this is the hinge, this is a backside exercise, meaning hamstrings loose, some low back, but in a good way, right? So that is our kettlebell swing. And like I said, if you wanna dig into more into the tutorial, let us know, watch that longer video about the KB swing.